Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show. Getting us on Instagram, TV, YouTube, wherever you're getting this content. I feel like I say that every time, because I do. So, here we go. We just dropped episode 100 of The New Marketing Show. And today I want to talk about what have I learned from doing a podcast for two straight years, dropping 100 full-length episodes plus bonus episodes. We're at episode actually 300 of The New Marketing Show. So, what did I learn? <clears throat> One, podcasting is hard. <laughs> podcasting is hard and it's a lot of work. And it's not just a lot of work for me or Kevin. It's also a lot of work for Nate who produces the media. It's a lot of work for us to make sure that we are getting it out to the right people. It's a lot of work to grow a podcast. It's very time consuming. And it's time consuming because it takes a lot to do it. You know, <clears throat> I believe in pushing out good content. I believe in pushing out the right content to the right people at the right time. And a lot of times, you know, I'd, I'd like to say we have a lot of our episodes planned, but we definitely don't. Where we can just, where we're sitting there and it's like, okay, what should we talk about? What's a good topic for today? So we do draw a whole lot on our like our business experience of what's going on in the business at the time. But man, sometimes nothing of note or significance is going on. What do you do then? Man, you just make the best of it. The other thing that I've learned is that if you don't schedule things in a routine manner, and this is just like any other content, if you don't schedule things in a routine manner, in a routine way, it doesn't get done. So too often throughout the last two years, and we did you know two straight years of episodes, I think we've taken one week off or two weeks off over the last two years, it's... Scheduling things are are difficult where we said, God, we got to get a po podcast out. You know, podcast drops every Tuesday. You know, how are we going to get it done? You know, you know, last thing you want to do is record it that morning, have it edited and push it out. I mean, because how great is that content? So I learned podcasting is hard. Also, another thing, scheduling guests can be the best thing for your podcast, but it can also be a real pain in the ass. So a lot of times... <clears throat> you know, you gotta you you always have to work with somebody else's schedule and make it convenient for them. But coordinating all the moving parts and how prepared are you to make sure that things are. You know, our guest episodes are definitely my favorite and they're the most fun, but they also take the the most work. And again, podcasting is a lot of work. I learned that in order to grow a podcast, you have to be consistent. You know, audio quality matters, content quality matters. Uh Making sure that you're tapping into what your audience wants to hear about, what they want to learn about. Find your avatar, find your the persona that you're speaking to for each episode, for each piece of content. I mean, all of these things seem common sense. And I'm saying podcasting, but this could be the same for video marketing. It could be the same for the written word. It could be the same for anything else. What you have to do is make sure that you're talking about things that people actually care about, that people actually want to hear about. Also, tweak the the length of the show time to time you know i think that a lot of times kevin and i found out that the best length of the show was you know less than 35 minutes or you know we definitely don't want to do any of those super long ones because then you know you see the people the, the attrition of people dropping off so podcasting is difficult podcasting is hard but podcasting is really rewarding too and when you use it as a business development tool the way that we use it you can say, hey, I know you have all these questions, but here, me and my co-host Kevin, we talk about this on episode 86. Check it out. And they send him a link. It's really, really a great way to build your brand equity and build the perception of your brand and let people know that you're a subject matter expert. So over 100 full-length episodes, 300, including all the bonus episodes. It's been a lot. It's been a fun journey. It is. We couldn't have done it without you, couldn't have done it without your input. And we've gotten better over time, thank God, because the first ones I know weren't the greatest, but we're still here doing it and we're gonna keep doing it. So thanks for listening, thanks for checking us out. Well, for more content like this, you can get us on said podcast we're talking about, trinitywebmedia.com slash apple-podcasts.